Hi, it's Matt V's Movies back for another video. And today is a movie review. Um, my thoughts on the film um, and some trivia. The film Panic Room. I picked this up recently from a um, charity shop. And uh, yeah, I got the opportunity to watch this and uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. So yeah, I thought I'm going to do a movie review for this one. So yeah, we'll um, dive into this in a minute. Just before we start the video, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you'll be informed when I upload a new video. Please leave a comment on the video. It's always good to have comments. Have you seen this film? Uh, have you got this film in your collection? Do you have it on DVD or Blu-ray? Um, yeah, so it'd be nice to have um, great interaction on the channel. Please share the video as well. It's great to, um, if you could do that, we appreciate that. And if you can give the video a thumbs up, that really does help out the channel and really do appreciate it. You can also find me on Instagram, I'm over there, post pictures and the odd little video now and again. Okay, so let's get on with the review today of the film Panic Room. Panic Room came out in 2002 and it was Certificate 15 rated in the UK. It was a thriller stroke crime genre and ran for 1 hour and 53 minutes. Just to give you some background on the film, Meg and Sarah hide in a panic room in their house when intruders break in. Unfortunately for them, the intruders want something that is hidden inside the room and will stop at nothing to claim it. The release date in the UK was the 3rd of May 2002. It was directed by David Fincher. The budget was 48 million US dollars and the box office returned 197.1 million dollars. So this made a lot of money. Very successful. And it was distributed by Columbia Pictures, uh, stroke Sony Pictures. And the cast included Jodie Foster as Meg Altman, Christian Stewart as Sarah Altman, Forrest Whitaker as Burnham, Jared Leto as Junior, Dwight Yoakam as Raoul, and Patrick Borshiam, Borshia. Stephen Altman. So I picked this up recently from a charity shop for the princely sum of 20 pence and um, got an opportunity to watch this and thoroughly enjoyed the film. It was many years ago that I saw this um, and uh, yeah I actually had a red case um, which I popped it in and uh, yeah really do really do think it's work works well with it the black and the red go really well together and look on the back uh, tells you a bit about the film special features there's a panic room teaser and um, it's one of these um, DVDs where it's kind of like an interactive menu um, they did that back in the day and it's you know it's quite nice to see that again and uh, they don't seem to really do that these days um, with the modern releases now we've got a 240 to 1 aspect ratio, 107 minutes of runtime, and a 5.1 Dolby Digital soundtrack and a DTS soundtrack. Now I actually watched this with the DTS and uh, it did sound a bit better to be honest, um, a little bit more bassier. Um, but I always prefer the DTS over the Dolby Digital to be honest. Open it up and we've got the disc in there with some artwork. And the little um, booklet, just with some chapter listings really on there and some advertisements, nothing else really. So yeah, um, quite a nice release. And um, picture quality on this was really good. Um, yeah, I played it through um, my 4K player um, just on the television. And it upscaled it nicely. Um, nice clear picture. As I say, good sound with a, the option of selecting either a DTS or Dolby Digital um, soundtrack. So I opted for DTS. And yeah, it was great. Um, you know, it's uh, 
a good soundtrack and um so it's a widescreen presentation and uh yeah you know it's uh, a good presentation now i'm not 100 percent sure whether this has actually got a blu-ray release um i haven't actually looked to be honest um but um yeah i'm, I'm quite happy at picking this up on dvd and say for 20 pence you know you can't go wrong so yeah i thoroughly enjoyed the film um and it was um you know well directed it's got a great cast in it i didn't realize actually last night when i was watching it that um, christian stewart uh, obviously from the twilight films um she was playing the daughter of um jodie foster in this film and um very young very young in this and and jared leto as well quite young in this film so some sort of rising stars um it played in this in this film so and it was you know brilliantly acted uh very tense in places um <clears throat> and uh yeah just a great crime thriller okay so on to some trivia about the film according to david fincher christian stewart grew more than three inches during filming of this project she was smaller than jodie foster when the production started and towered over her when the final shots were done. The shot of Sarah's medical bag sliding along the floor outside the panic room took 103 takes. Because the sets had been designed with Nicole Kidman in mind, who was much taller than Jodie Foster, the green safety lasers on the panic room door ended up exactly at the level of Foster's eyes, constantly blinding her as she entered and exited the room. All of the indoor scenes were shot entirely in sequence in which they appear in the finished film. That's very unusual. The photos of Sarah and that Meg puts around her room are real childhood pictures of Christian Stewart and her family. According to David Fincher, the crew were finding feathers from Burnham's drilling through the pillow scene all over the sets for six months. Shot over a period of 120 days, the longest shoot in Jodie Foster's career. Though Panic Room is not technically a remake, it somewhat mirrors the plot and characters of Wait Until Dark in 1967. The antagonists are three criminals, one who has compassion like Burnham, another who is a hardened criminal like Junior, and one who is a ruthless psych psychotic like Raoul. The three men charade their way into a blind woman's brownstone apartment in search of a doll filled with heroin, but realise they have drastically underestimated her wits once they initiate a game of cat and mouse with her. Guys, that was just um, a little review and look at the film Panic Room. I say it's a great release this um say for 20 pence you can't go wrong can you and i was pleasantly surprised at the the transfer on this it looked really good really good upscaled uh sounded great so no complaints from me and uh, thoroughly enjoyed watching it hey thanks for watching the video guys take care and see you in the next one bye now